Hey Kenyan fans, it's time for another edition of the Kenyan Student Athlete Spotlight. We're joined today by a Kenyan men's basketball player who's helping lead the charge in the backcourt along with Tim Connolly. He's uh, Cooper Handelsman, a senior from Pittsburgh. And Cooper, I want to thank you for taking time out of your day, getting ready for a big game against Albion uh, late in the 2014 year. I want to talk to you and get your thoughts so far on the season, you know, three and four. Uh, we've gone on a, a little bit of a spurt these last four games, and uh, we seem to be progressing, you know, heading into 2015. What have you liked so far from the guys? And, you know, hopefully just keep getting some Ws. Yeah, I mean, we started off a little slower than we wanted to, but I thought we've done a good job, especially on the defensive end, picking it up. We've letting up like 90 points a game, which right. isn't, isn't exactly where we wanted to win. We were more in the 70s and 60s. So I think when we play in that range, we've done a lot better, you know, playing defense, getting good shots, and it's helped us get on this uh, little win streak coming here. You know, the other night against Allegheny, you know, what a great game that was. Uh, back and forth all, all night long, and then you came up with a, essentially the game-winning layup, uh, put us ahead, I think, 72-70 late. Uh, where can this team go? I know we've got some good leadership in the front court and in the back court, uh, but you know, where can this team go you know, come the end of February? I think as we progress, I mean, we're going to say this a lot here. Coach Priest said the same thing. It's all about defense for us. We have a lot of guys who can score. I think we've had six guys who have probably hit double digits, maybe even seven now in a game. So we have a lot of guys who can score. If we just work on playing defense, you know, really sharing the ball, getting the best shot we can, I think we have a shot to be pretty successful, especially in the coming months. Cooper, let's look at you a little bit. Uh, senior from Pittsburgh, you know, what kind of drew you to Kenyon and, uh, you know, being able to come out here and, uh, you know, play hoops? I mean, truth be told, I didn't really know of Kenyon until my senior year when I was at a basketball camp and Coach Priest uh, came and saw me. So once I found it, John Bray actually is from right outside of Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. So he, uh, I've known him since seventh grade. So once he was looking at it too, it kind of gave me a little more comfort coming here. And then when I visited, I just fell in love with the place, the campus, the people, and of course, Coach Priest and the basketball program. What's Coach Priest been like? He seems to be a little... Uh, I don't, I don't want to call him an ant, but he seems like to be picky. Uh, describe Coach Priest to me if you can. Uh, he definitely doesn't lack energy, okay. I, think, I think is the best way to put it. You know, he brings a lot of energy every day. Sometimes that, it's good and bad, of course, right. but we, we like it. We feed off it. It makes us more energy, gives us more energy, allows us to practice harder, play harder. So that's the big thing for us is just always having energy. And he's always very supportive of us. You know, as the years go on, he's always had the confidence in us to be the best we can, do what we can do, so... You know, you've worked on your game, you know, heading into this, uh, coming into this season where now you're second on the team in scoring. And, you know, you and Tim have formed like a, a really good duo in the backcourt. What, what, talk, describe your relationship with Tim. And you know, he's only a sophomore, but he seems to be really a guy that's going to be getting, continuing to get better throughout the years. Yeah, I mean, coming in, Tim was always younger than me as another guard. I always kind of worked out with him. We've lifted together, done a lot of skill stuff together. So I've always had this relationship with him from when he came in that, we could really like become something and it's yeah. Julian who was the great above me he kind of did the same thing with me so I kind of felt the the same thing kind of like a father figure almost to him so it was good and now playing you know side by side with him every night is is really fun you know outside of the athletic world uh, economics major but uh, you know when you're done you, you want to stay in the basketball realm but describe what you know kind of future plans or career you'd like to have you know once you graduate from Kenya yeah, I mean, these past couple summers I've been working camps and stuff, trying to meet people. I don't have an exact path, but hopefully next year I want to work in college basketball, Division One, two, three level. Yeah. No, no exact uh, level I want there, but you know, talking to Coach Priest, Coach Sullivan, they're obviously doing now what I want to do in the future. So you can always learn from them, see what they do, and then meeting people all around the country is is a pretty cool experience. You know, looking at kind of your resume, you've been around at uh, the Ohio State University obviously University of Pittsburgh. Uh, what could you take from those experiences uh, going forward and you know, molding you, who, the coach you want to become? Well, you see just the way these coaches run their programs. Even if I don't get to watch their program, you could just tell, okay, this is what they do on a camp. I couldn't even imagine what it's like when it's you know, their players every day practice, their jobs on the line. So you could just tell how organized they are, how important every little detail is. You know, 450 kids who are five years old is a lot to handle, but yeah. they have everyone where they want to be, no problems asked, and then all the coaches who have never met each other exactly where they need to be too. Okay. Uh, finally, I, I ask this to all the student athletes. Uh, you know, what do you want people to remember you by as an athlete, 
as a student or just a friend, uh, you know, when your time comes to an end, you know, next semester here at Kenyon, you know, what, what do you want people to remember you by? Uh, I mean, just that I did things, you know, to the best of my ability. I worked hard. I tried to do things the right way, even though obviously no one's successful in everything they do, that I just gave it everything I had. And it was any mistake I made, I tried to correct and just do it the best I could. Any Christmas wishes you want to send to your parents before you go home? Of course, I got to say hi to my mom and dad. They'll be watching this probably 20 times each. So, hi, mom. Hi, dad. <laughs> Cooper, I want to thank you for your time. Good luck tonight against Albion, and uh, we'll catch up with you later in the year. Thank you. That was senior guard Cooper Handelsman, another edition of the Kenyan Student Athlete Spotlight. You can see all those interviews if you go to our YouTube page and just look up Kenyan Athletics. For Cooper Handelsman, I'm Clayton Goffin. We'll see you next time on the Kenyan Sports Connection.